Cora Anderson has an aneurysm in her brain, a ballooning out of a blood vessel wall. If it ruptures, the result could be catastrophic. If you have a large bleed, your outcomes are going to be much worse. So if, if you treat these aneurysms before they've ruptured, it's always a better uh, outcome. Yeah, and I would like you to, to uh, live some more. So let's go in and get it taken care of. Surgeons at UW Medicine's Brain Aneurysm Center treated Cora with a procedure called endovascular coiling. It involves inserting a small catheter through the groin and up to the carotid artery. So this catheter right now is going to be in the carotid and through that we're going to put a small microcatheter up into the aneurysm and then through that catheter we're going to deploy what is called as platinum coils. And These are small wires made of platinum, very soft and we end up filling up this area which looks like a blister on the vessel called the aneurysm and plug it from the inside so that the risk of bleeding goes away. Cora surgery is guided by radiology. We have a screen where under x-rays you can actually see the catheters and wires traveling so we can see exactly where we're going and we can navigate through all the twists and turns of these vessels. During an earlier procedure, Cora's surgeon inserted a neuroform stent to hold the coils in place. This stent usually goes across the neck of an aneurysm to help us keep the coils inside and prevent them from coming out. When the procedure is complete, Cora will no longer be at risk for a ruptured aneurysm. And I think I'm extremely happy with the result. I couldn't wish for a better result.